Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, dear students, and welcome to our science class. Today is Wednesday, and the date is the 17th of February 2021. We were learning about the physical changes that can happen to a matter. What are the physical changes that can happen to a matter? Yesterday, we learned a lot. We learned about paper, um, wax, and a lot of stuff. We said, what are the changes that can happen to it? And we call it physical changes. Hmm, like what? Oh, before that, who can tell me what is a physical change? How do you know that this change is a physical change? Yes, Yamaria, please. A physical change is when you change something, but it's still the same thing. Excellent. Very nice. Very good. Yes, when you change something, when you make a change, but it will still the same. How? It, there is no new substance is formed. No new substance is appearing. No new thing comes out of it. So if you are shredding a paper, will it be still be a paper? Hi, Mario. Yes, so shredding is a physical change. Give me another example, Italia. Another example of physical change. Talia, Talia. Hi, Talia. Hi. So, an example of a physical change. Can you give me? Like when you have like, like a paper and when you change its shape or crumble it, like it will still be a paper. So it's Excellent. A crumble a paper, sock a paper, shred a paper fold or foil a paper very nice very nice excellent also we learned two more things about hmm, physical change it can have what what else you can do to to make a physical change yes um we can um, use the same thing to make something melt excellent so melting is a physical change what else Hmm, melting. What about freezing? Is it the same thing? Yes. Yes, excellent. The same thing. So it melting, freeze. freezing, all these changes like are physical changes. You still have water. Your liquid water will only change the state of it. It will still be a water, but it will change the state. What is the state of water when it's freezing? Yeah. It will be what, Yerayana? When it's freezing, it will be? Ice. Solid. Ice. Excellent. Ice. It will be solid. Solid water. Solid water is ice. Liquid water is water. And uh, you can evaporate water and become water vapor. But all of them still a water and they did not change to juice or milk or something else. All right. Now look at this glass also. They applied heat to this glass. What did they do? They reshaped the glass. They made a pitcher out of maybe broken glass. Yeah. So over here, the wax, when you melt the wax, you applied color to the wax and then when it uh, when it's cooled down, it molded and become a candle, but it's still a wax, the same wax from before. You only change the appearance of it. There is no new substance uh, shown. Is that right or not? What right. about a fruit salad? Huh? Remember, what do you call a fruit salad? Hi, Elayan. What do you call a fruit salad? When you cut down fruits and you mix them together, what do you call it? Uh, mm, a mixture. Excellent, a mixture. A mixture is whenever you are mixing stuff, combining two or more substance, and they still have their, or they keep their identities. So the strawberry will keep the identity of it, 
the mangoes, the bananas, the apples, each one of these will keep their identities, only you are going to mix them. Is that right or not? Right. right. What about a solution? What is a solution? Hi, Aline, what is a solution? A solution is? Oh, you are not opening your mic. Okay. A solution is a mixture in which the substance are evenly mixed to excellent. make some rings, gold, and other metal. Excellent. Teacher, excellent. I already highlighted this. Very nice. Thank you, Yatalia. Very good. So a mixture is when you put in a uh, when you mix substance, uh, mix them evenly. That means each one of them are equal to the other. Okay, when a solution of solids, uh, sorry, that dissolves in water, in a liquid, what do I call it? What do I call um, uh, the liquid part? Hmm. The liquid part is the solvent. So when you dissolving, solid in liquid like for example when you are dissolving sugar in liquid or salt in liquid what is the liquid part what do you call the liquid part solvent and solvent usually is the largest part of the solution okay and the solute is the substance that dissolves in the solvent so in solution you have solvent and Salute. I'm going to write it down for you. In a solution, what do you have? This is the solution. Mm -hmm. You have solvent and... Tell me, girls. Excellent. Solution. Salute. Solvent and salute. Salute. Okay, the solvent sure. must be the water and the solute must be the thing that you are dissolving. Is it sugar? Is it uh, 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 um, um, salt? Is it uh, lemon? What is it then? Okay, and usually the water is uh, more than the, the sugar or not? Which one is usually more than the other one? Yes, Elayan. The water. Excellent, the water. So I can write that a solvent can be hmm, water. What about a solute? A solute can be what, Yaleyan? Can be sugar, lemon, salt, whatever you're. Uh, so um, whatever you Yes. Dissolve. And dissolve mm -hmm. is to melt all of the particles and mix with the water. When the sugar melts and mix with the water, then we call it a solute. Okay? And both it's together... Yes. Both together, Yarayana, they make a solution. Both together, what do they okay. make, Yarayana? Solution. Excellent. Tell me, please, now. What okay. do you want? Yes. My, it is a question. Yes. Uh, what is your question? Is, uh, is the sol sol is a what it, is the anything liquid is a, is a what? A, sol is a, what? a solvent. Water, liquid water or liquid, this, the liquid part of a solution is the solvent and the solid part of the solution it is the solute. Uh, okay. okay. There. Now you understand? Okay. Okay. Lovely. Okay, Leanne, yeah. you showed yeah. us your t-shirt, okay? You sh your t-shirt, show it to us again, yeah. please. When you colored your t-shirt, did you have color mm -hmm. on your hand? Yes. How did you remove those colors from your hand? What did you use? I removed it. Um, I, first up, I washed my hand with soap. 
Okay. And uh, I like I. You know, I scrubbed it too much. Like I scrubbed it and then right. it went. Okay, let me tell you something. Not everything, yeah. okay, will dissolve in water. You you think that everything can dissolve in water and go away with water, but no. There are some substance, okay, or some things that they will not dissolve in water like oil. When you have oil in your hand, how can you remove oil? You need something more powerful, more than uh, water, because water cannot mix with with oil. When you mix oil with water, they will be separated all the time. It cannot move oil from your hand. To move oil from your hand or from uh, a dish or from uh, anywhere, you need something called a detergent. <laughs> something, yes, a detergent. What's a detergent? Who can tell me? What do you know about a detergent? Yes, yeah, Talia. Hmm. A, deter a, de a detergent mm -hmm. is something that you clean the dis dishes with. Yes. Do you know a, a, a company for a detergent? What do you use in your kitchen? Yes, Yarayana, what do you use in your kitchen for a detergent? We use soap. Uh, okay. Um, no, no, no. Give me a name of there company. Is, uh, water and we use uh, like... Something very famous, towel. very famous, Yariana. Yes, let me see, Leanne. Yes, mm. Leanne. Um, fairy and Excellent. Yes, fairy. You know, fairy, whenever you have oil in your hand or in uh, your dish or a uh, very hard uh, spot you want to clean, you will use a detergent and we mostly use fairy. Fairy is not a regular soap, is not a regular uh, thing to use. It is a detergent. We call it a detergent. A detergent particles form bonds with water particles and reduce their ability to bond to each other. So a detergent go between the water and between the oil and it will separate everything away. That's why a detergent can remove any hard spots or uh, oily spots or whatever. Yes, yeah, Talia, you are raising your hand. Yes, yeah, Talia. Miss you you are also like a different kind of soap just Miss for this like that cleans out oil and stuff because water does not clean out oil from your hands or tissue. Again, again, Italia, what? Detergent is a like a uh, kind of soap, but mm -hmm. only for dishes. Yes, it can be for dishes, but soaps, we can use some detergent soaps for our hands to remove the colors, the hard spots on our hands. Maybe, uh, for example, uh, when you put uh, manicure, when you put manicure, huh? how do you remove it? You need a detergent to remove that. So what do you use? Yes, Yelian, what do you use? Well, I use a Darren. You can't use fairy for you for your yes, of course. Name. But you can use so other are, other type. Yeah. What is it? Acetone. You can use yes, acetone. acetone. Yes, you can use acetone, alcohol. So these stuff they break down the bonds between the spots. That's why they can remove the spots easily. Now let's try to do this exercise. Three hundred ninety-nine, please. I want you to write Miss answer to each question in the space Miss provided. Miss. For everyone, am I lagging? For everyone? No, you're not lagging, teacher. Miss, you're no. lagging. You know, you know, I'm sorry, not Rayana. The problem is from your uh, internet. I'm really sorry, Rayana. Now, why can't water alone help wash away oil? Why do you think? Yes, Italia. Yes, Italia. Um, I I don't very really know. Mm -hmm. 
But I know that when you put water with oil, like they're separated, the oil does not mix in with the water. But Excellent. I don't know how. Because water does not break down the bonds between oil. Okay, so the answer is because the water does not break down the bonds between water. I'm going to put for you the answer key, okay? I'm going to put it in a minute, just a minute. Now, why is using detergent and water to clean oil is a physical change? Why it is a physical change? Why do you think, Yelayan? Tell me. I think it, yes, I didn't answer. Yes, Yelayan. I think because it's still like when you wash, uh, let's say, when you wash a um, a spoon and it's really dirty and, you win, and you're going to use a detergent, it's, it's not going to change into, let's say, um, a fork. No, it's going to stay a spoon. Excellent. Yes, that's right. It's not going to change it. Very nice. Very good. Excellent, Yelena. Thank you. Yes, Yelian. Yes, my lovely Lian. Yes, my love. I did, you only let me read, and a lot of the girls who, a lot of. Uh, girls you want to answer with me? You want to yes, participate? Want. Okay. Yes, Can you tell me what is a detergent, Yelian? What do you think a detergent? Tell me. And why do you think a it is a physical change? A detergent is something that helps you keep clean. Like, for example, your mom tells you to take a shower. Oh. And you... No, okay. no, sorry. I, like, example, you're, for example, you're washing your dishes. You can't use water alone. Okay. You can use fairy. You can use dioxide. You can use a lot of... So it is also a physical change because the... Detergent is clean. It's clean. It's not like dirty. Detergent, okay, they are not clean. You can say that detergent breaks down the, the bonds between the spot because yeah. water does not break, break down uh, the spots between, uh, the break down the bonds between the spots. Why? Because it because is very light. It is not very it heavy. Because the, because the, and when you wash it, it won't turn into a different thing. It won't turn into a rubber duck. Excellent, excellent. That's so correct. Say, uh, like That's a, why uh, it is a physical change because it's only will clean up and it will not change it. Thank you, Yeli. Thank you very much. Okay, my lovely student, this is the answer. This is a sample answer. What does it mean, sample answer? It means if you have another answer, it's okay to write it down. It's an open question. Okay, you can write you, down whatever you understood from this lesson. Okay, love, you can take a screenshot. Okay, we have three minutes. So in this three minutes, we will say bye bye to recording. Say bye bye to recording. Bye. 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 Bye.